Hello friends, I welcome you all in one more knowledgeable interesting video. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about a very very interesting topic. What should be the rate of depreciation on robot? Right. If you are using robot as a fixed asset in a business, then what should be the correct rate of depreciation? In this video, we will also going to discuss about a latest legal development in this, in this matter. We will also going to discuss about a very, very interesting judgment of Chennai Tribunal in this case, right? So let's start the video. See robot, if you are using it in your business as a fixed asset, right? Then it is a point of dispute that your robot attracts depreciation rate as per computers or as per plant and machinery because in both the rates there is a huge difference computer attracts 40 percent depreciation rate and plant and machinery attracts 15 percent depreciation rate so it's a point of dispute for example if a robot if a robot costing rupees 10 lakh rupees then if you are charging it under depreciation as computers in the computers block then you are eligible for 4 lakh rupees of depreciation and if you are charging it as a plant and machinery block then you are eligible for 1 lakh 50 thousand rupees of depreciation right so the difference in these two values of the depreciation in this example is 2 lakh 50 thousand rupees and robots are way expensive right not just 10 lakhs it may it may cost you up to 50 lakhs even some crores of rupees if you are buying it for a critical function in your business right and the usage of robots is increasing day by day and approximately all the industries like the hospitality industry like the like the tourism defense right it all these industries are widely using robots in their operations right so it's a it's a it's a point of dispute that the, what is the correct rate of depreciation on robots it whether it's it's a computers falls into 40 percent or whether it is plant and machinery falls in 15 percent category right so let's let's deep dive into the discussion right when we talk about the computer thing when we talk about the computer thing then as per my observation robot is having all the characteristics of a computer how it has a central processing unit it has ram it has hard disk it may have mouse it may have keyboard right or in some of the robots it they may also have screens or the monitors right so all these components together when we assemble them we call it as a computer right and robot may also have all the components in it and it has a, I think it has all the attributes of a computer and I read it somewhere that that all the robots are the computers but all the computers cannot be the robots and to some extent I, I found it correct right and then I will I will connect you all with the legal development with with the with the latest judgment of Chennai tribunal in this dispute that what Chennai tribunal held in this matter and and impliedly that robot is a plant and machinery item right machinery is what we can use it mechanically it makes life of human being simple it it uh, it helps in the production activity it it helps in mass productions right it multiplies the productivity it helps in the business operations so these are the characteristics of plant and machinery right so it can also be understand that robot also falls it seems that the robot also falls in, into the category of plant and machinery item right so it's a great point of discussion as well as when the matter escalated to the income tax authority it's a it's a point of dispute department says that no it is plant and machinery because the depreciation is less so the income is high and the tax is high on the other side of it the taxpayer or the assessee says that no it is not plant and machinery it is computers why it is computers because it has all the characteristics of computers computer is required to operate a robot robot have all the components which the computers have 
right? If, if it falls in the computer's category, then the depreciation rate is high, income is less, and the taxes are less, right? So, so both the department and the taxpayers raising their disputes, right? And, and to me, both seems logical. And then I'll connect you to the legal development, one of the latest case law of IT, AT Chennai bench in this matter, right? So, robots are widely used in a lot of industry these days and robots seems to have all the characteristics of, of the computers and one can also say that the robot also have plant and machinery features, right? Now, let's, let's talk about a recent judgment, a recent judgment of Chennai Tribunal, Chennai Tribunal, right? The case law is of robotics learning, robotics learning solutions private limited versus income tax officer, right? So this is the relevant case law and interestingly, this case laws goes in the favor of the department means this case law says that the correct rate of depreciation, the correct rate of depreciation for the robot is not of computer, but is of plant and machinery, that is 15%. Robots are not eligible for 40% depreciation rate, rather robots are eligible under the plant and machinery block and are eligible for 15% of depreciation rate, right? So this is uh, a very interesting case to be understand because because these days robots are widely used in almost all the industries right so you may have a client who will ask you that what should be the correct rate of depreciation on the robots either it is computer or either it is plant and machinery either it is 40 percent or either it is it is 15 percent right so you can you can use this case law of robotics learning solutions private limited of chennai tribunal one of the latest, one of the latest judgment in this case, Chennai Tribunal case law said that the correct rate of depreciation on the robot is of the rate of plant and machinery that is 15%, not 40%, like the case of computers, right? So, see, the robots uh, in the coming years, right, and in any of the finance bill, any of the budget, right? Because the robot is not specifically mentioned in any of the categories when you look at the depreciation rates as per Income Tax Act, right? So to promote the usage of robots and the robotics technology in India, it may happen that in any of the finance bill or in any of the finance budgets that the robot may be inserted into, into any of the specific category. It would be great if it would be into the category of computers, right? Because it will going to promote the usage of the computers, right? And the robots are technology driven, depreciate so fast and robotics technology tends to advance and tends to develop at a very fast pace. So depreciation may be higher and robots deserves depreciation rate to be higher than the rate of plant and machinery that is 15%. So it is expected that some good legal developments may happen in this, in this category for depreciation of robots. Big legal developments we will expect in this depreciation rate for robots, right? So thank you for watching this interesting video, which specifically talks about rate of depreciation on robots as per Income Tax Act 1961. And a very, very interesting case law of robotics learning solutions, private limited versus income tax officer of Chennai tribunal. If you like to have the complete <coughs> copy of the judgment of this, uh, uh, this case law, you can comment your email ID in the comment box. We will share the complete text of the judgment. If you have any query relating to income tax act, any of the section of income tax act, then you can post your query in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel. We will keep coming with a lot of interesting and knowledgeable videos like this. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye.